Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews. Episode 40, I Don't Want to Kill You by Dan Wells. I enjoyed every bit of this book. It was an awesome conclusion to the trilogy. We'll get to that in a second, because I haven't uh, reviewed the first or second book in this trilogy yet, in this podcast. Anyway, each book seemed to get a little better, but they were all great books for different reasons. I still think the first one is amazing. This book was really interesting. Seeing how John Cleaver, the protagonist, interacts with people is so much fun to read. He's a sociopath, but he's also a hero. But he's also more of a monster than the ones he's hunting in some ways. And yet, he's on the right side. It is all just way too good to read once. Someday down the road, I'll have to read all three of these books again. Which reminds me, as you are listening to this, I'm pretty sure that a fourth brand new book in the series is out now, and it's the first of a new trilogy in the serial killer books. So that is very exciting. Interestingly, it took me a while to finish this book, but only because of the format I purchased it in. I do about 99% of my reading via audiobooks, because I have a full schedule and two hours of commuting a day to work. This book, however, I read with the Kindle app on my iPad. I am a super fan of audiobooks, but it was really nice to read a book for once. I picked it up here and there and then got too busy to read and just kept reading via audiobooks for a while. Usually I would find time to read this book if I was the only one awake or the only one up in the morning. It was a fun juxtaposition of sitting in a quiet, peaceful house that's usually really loud with tons of young kids, reading some pretty crazy and thrilling stuff. As I flicked through the digital pages, I would read faster and faster, and once I got to the end of a certain chapter near the end of the book, (laughs) it was all over. Then I really had to find time to read, because the story was a super page-turner. This book is so cool, because it's just so different from most of the books I read, and I'm guessing that you read, even if you read a lot of supernatural thrillers. I mostly read science fiction and fantasy. This book was definitely thrilling, but it's also a deep book. You get a lot of the protagonist's internal monologue, almost like classical literature, and then there's all the thrilling action and cringeworthy stuff. So I'll end with saying that this book is awesomely unique, and it was a thrilling and thought-provoking read. How Dan Wells pulls that off is pretty incredible. If you liked the first two books in the series, which are called I Am Not a Serial Killer and Mr. Monster, you'll love this one, and it's not more of the same. All three books in this trilogy are very much their own story, and writing this makes me want to go back and read them all again. Which reminds me, I wanted to let you know that you, the listener of this podcast, can get a free audiobook just for checking out Audible's service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook. I would recommend either the book I just reviewed, I Don't Want to Kill You, the last in the John Cleaver series by Dan Wells, narrated by Kirby Hayborn, or if you have not read the first and second books, go grab the first one called I Am Not a Serial Killer, and the second one is called Mr. Monster. I can't recommend these books enough. They're smart, they're funny at times. Yes, even though they're very dark, they have some awesome humor and just a great listen. Kirby Hayborn has a great voice for this story because it's in first person, 
so the narrator is the protagonist and um kirby hayborn's voice is it just it's perfect for john cleaver the main character in this series so go to audibletrial.com slash dan's book reviews for your free audiobook and you can get any audiobook of your choice but i recommend i don't want to kill you by dan wells narrated by kirby hayborn now let's get back to that review Oh man, these books were so good. Um, like many of you, well, maybe, I'm not really sure what the audience is who listens to this podcast. I know that you guys are book lovers and readers, but um, for those of you who are writers, you may be familiar with the podcast called Writing Excuses. Dan Wells is a co host on that podcast. That's how I got to know who he is. But I'm so glad I did, because he is an awesome author. I also got the privilege of being on the podcast, The Round Table Podcast, where Dan Wells and the two hosts of the show, I got to workshop a story there. I gave a story idea, and Dan Wells, Dave, and Brian, the two co-hosts, all kind of listened to my story idea and then helped me develop the story. It was really cool. And Dan Wells was, you you just, you could tell he's just a wealth of information when it comes to storytelling, and he's just a cool guy. He also has these really awesome story structure videos on YouTube. If you just search for Dan Wells story structure, search for that on YouTube. There are a bunch of videos of him giving a lecture, going through this awesome seven point story structure system that really helped me understand good storytelling. But anyway, I'm here to talk about his book. I'm just telling you, he does a lot of awesome stuff for writers, but he also happens to have written some really awesome books. The main character being a sociopath, how the heck do you write a sociopath that your readers will like? But uh, he really pulled it off. It's also just so interesting how the main character deals with his idiosyncrasies and he knows he's a sociopath and he doesn't want to become a serial killer so he like made up all these rules for himself that he knows serial killers will do so he tries not to do those but then a real serial killer is in town in the first book and he kind of has to um, take another look at his rules to see if he wants to maybe do something about what's happening to people in his town and it just gets better and better from there just awesome books i don't want to spoil anything but i'll just say that these are supernatural thrillers and so there's just a whole bunch of awesome layers in these books that make them so cool supernatural stuff awesome horrific fight scenes or just horror scenes and then just all of the stuff about john cleaver the main character being a teenager who's dealing with going to school his friends how he deals with them uh being a sociopath it's really interesting and thrilling it's just an awesome trilogy of books i haven't read the next one in the trilogy yet but i did use an audible credit to get that book so i can't wait to check it out anyways uh hope you guys have had a great week I uh, hope that you're enjoying some good reading, and I'll talk to you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.